Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhad. In this session, we would look at financial market and the corporation, how the, the interplay between those two components. This topic is covered in an introduction to corporate finance or simply introduction to finance course. It's also covered on the CPA BEC section. If you haven't connected with me on LinkedIn, please do so. YouTube is where you would need to subscribe. I have 1,500 accounting, auditing, tax, and finance lectures. Please make sure you uh, subscribe and share the channel with other on my youtube you can access other additional information and resources please check out my website for those resources if you are looking for a study buddy study buddy pal.co can match you with a study buddy it's an artificial intelligence uh, platform and they have users in 85 countries and 2800 cities so let's go ahead and take a look at the interplay between uh, corporation and the financial market. So let's see, let's look, let's just take a look at this graph that summarizes basically the steps or what we need to know in general about this relationship. And let's go and look at these arrows. So the first thing is this, the firm issues securities to raise cash. This is arrow number one. What does that mean? It means the firm, what they do, the firm gives the financial market stocks. They sell them their stocks and the financial market gives them money. So the firm issues securities to raise cash. Now, the firm invests this cash in assets. They will take this cash and they will invest the cash in assets, in current assets and fixed assets and property, plant and equipment. They hire employees. Then the firm op operation generate cash flow. Now you have cash. Now the cash will go back to the financial market. They have to pay the debt. They have to pay dividend to the uh, to the shareholders. So they, they then the money from the profit goes back. And remember, some of that goes also to the government. Cash is also paid to the government. So when the cash leaves the company, part of it goes to the government and part of it goes to the shareholders. Then E, reinvested cash flow are plowed back under the firm. Sometime you don't, after you're paying the government and paying the shareholders, you take some cash and you plow it back, you, pu you put it back into the firm. And sometimes what you do, you pay cash, whatever's left, again, you pay cash, uh, and you pay debt and dividend to the shareholders. So this is the interplay between the corporation and the financial market. Basically, simply put, if you want to summarize this, simply put, the corporation gives the shareholders stocks, the shareholders and the creditors, not only the shareholders, they'll give them money. Then the company will use the money. Once they make profit, they will pay back the dividend, they pay back the interest, they pay back the debt, so on and so forth. So this is an overview, an overview of this process. Now let's talk about uh, what's called the primary market and secondary market. What do we mean by primary market and secondary market? Because that's that's an important concept that you need to understand. Remember I said corporation sells stock sells stock to the public well when the corporation so let's just take a look at the corporation here let's just make this is the corporation let me just make this a little better so this is the corporation and this is the market the stock market the financial market Okay, so the corporation give them stocks. So the seller, the corporation sells the stock and the market gives them back money. When this happened, when the corporation goes to the market and they sell stocks, this is called primary market. The primary market means the corporation is getting the money. They're selling the stock is getting the money. And the corporation engage in two type of primary market transaction, public offering and private placement. What is a public offering? It means they go to the market and they sell their stocks or their debt if they want to borrow money to anyone. Anyone who who, who has money is an inter and, and interested and able, they will buy your stocks. This is called the public offering. Now, public offering, if there's a public offering, you have to file what's called registrant form with the SEC, Securities and Exchange Commission. You have to disclose the risk because you are trying to protect the public. If you offer a private placement, private placement, the corporation is negotiating with someone or a group specifically in the market. And that group assumed to know what they're doing. Therefore, there is no involvement of the SEC because if you are buying stocks privately from the company, well, guess what? You're going to have to take a risk and the government is not going to protect you if it's a private placement. Now, now this is the primary market. So the primary market is when you sell the stocks directly to the public, which is good. Then we have another market that's called the secondary market. And the secondary market is very important. Why? Because I'll tell you why. Because the corporation 
here's the corporation again they get money from the market here's what happened if you are a participant in this market if you buy the stock of this company in the primary market well guess what you might be stuck with it but you don't want to feel you are stuck with it there's a secondary market let, let me put the secondary market here so once you buy stocks from this company you can go to the secondary market and sell it to another individual or company so you can sell your position and the secondary market makes the primary market very attractive so when you buy stocks in the primary market you don't have to worry like once i buy it that's it i cannot i cannot sell the stock you can go to the secondary market and sell it so the secondary market provides a means of transferring transferring ownership of a corporate securities all the corporation is directly involved only in the primary transaction so the corporation in these transaction there is no corporation because you're selling between investors the secondary market are still critical to large corporation the reason is that investors are much more willing to purchase securities in the primary market when they know they can resell it so that's why the secondary market is important basically simply put it provide liquidities now we have to understand the difference between what we called dealer versus auction market this is we're talking about stock market terminology there are two types of secondary market we have the auction market and the dealer market generally speaking dealers buy and sell for themselves at their own risk think about a car dealer this is what dealer is the car dealer they buy cars and they sell cars themselves and when they buy a car when they sell the car if they buy if they buy a car they're taking a risk that that car may not be resold or if it's resold they might incur a loss on it so this is what a dealer would with, with the window this is the dealer in contrast to a dealer if we are dealing with a broker and agent those their job is to match buyers and seller but they do not actually own the stock the commodity bought or sold so basically they're like basically a middle person okay a real estate agent as an example do not normally buy and sell houses for themselves they're basically they connect buyers and sellers so dealer market and stocks and long-term debt are called over the counter market so dealers dealer market is called over the counter that's the term we're going to see why most trading and debt securities take place over the counter so when you buy that bonds it's done over the counter the expression over the counter referred to the day to the days when the securities were literally bought and sold over the counter today a significant fraction of the market for stocks and almost all that they have no central location everything is done electronically on the computer auction market differ from dealer market in two ways first an auction market or exchange has a physical presence and the physical presence in the u.s wall street second and deal secondly in a dealer market most of the buying and selling is done by the dealer okay the primary purpose of an auction market is to match those who wish to sell with those who wish to buy dealers will play a limited role here okay let's see i think we're almost done with this section trading and corporate stocks what's trading trading it means buying and selling corporate stocks the equity shares of most large corporation in organized auction markets so they're being sold being sold in an auction market mainly nyse the new york stock exchange there's also a large over-the-counter market and that's nasdaq nasdaq is an over-the-counter system but again it's no longer over the counter it's electronically it's electronically and nasdaq now in contrast to old days now they have large names such as google apple microsoft intel those are large heavy tech names um, tesla netflix facebook they are traded on the nasdaq there are many large i don't believe facebook is but uh, I can't I, I don't know but I don't think Facebook is there are many large and important financial market outside the US for example Tokyo Stock Exchange that's another that's another market okay now anytime there's an OTC market it's basically it means it's open 24 7 because it has no physical location and it's done electronically now what is listing okay what is listing stocks um, listing stocks that trade on organized exchange is said to be listed stocks so for example microsoft is a list listed stocks amazon google apple why because you can buy them and sell them on an exchange okay the, N the, the nysc has the most stringent requirements so if you want to be listed on an exchange nysc has the most stringent requirement for example you have to have at least 100 million dollar in asset in your company uh, there are additional minimum on earning assets and the number of shares so you have so you have to have certain requirement we'll talk about listing in another chapter so if you're uh, if you're um, if you are a finance students make sure to check out the additional lectures on my website or if you're an accounting students plus the resources um, it's one price you can subscribe for everything good luck 
and stay motivated, study hard.